guys, welcome to Tea Time with Tan and Eric. This is a special edition of the Tea Time because it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And so you guys know that with the end of Thanksgiving, okay, that means that now we have begin, we're beginning the, the Christmas shopping the season. The eating season. <laughs> It is time for the holiday eating season. It is finally here. I oh know my gosh. Okay, but also the eating season, you're right, babe. And also the shopping season. So All we right. know that everybody's getting ready to start going out and buying things for teachers, the postman, you know, the children. But we don't want you guys to forget about one another. Wait, so, so before we start talking about shopping and all that stuff let's mm -hmm. talk about this whole eating season <laughs> right. so what's your i hope you guys didn't eat too much did y'all did y'all eat too much we didn't eat too much uh, honestly i didn't even cook we ate out you weren't you were admitting that uh, we ate out i have no shame all right. we did it y'all i'm sorry we <laughs> You know, last year, I think, my, last year I think my parents cooked. We cooked the year before mm -hmm. that. We're just retired, y'all. Tell them where we went. Well, For dinner. Where did we go for Thanksgiving dinner? We went, you know, we did it light. We went to Fogo the Child. So yeah. a nice, healthy. Very uh, traditional. Yeah, very traditional. Not. <laughs> turkey. So, you know, do you have a goal this year for, for keeping off weight or, or dieting? What's your? Well, so I think by not cooking, that That's meant true. I didn't have a whole lot of food in the house. Cut you know back what I'm saying? The leftovers. Yeah. There are no leftovers for me to keep running downstairs to the kitchen to eat. There's right. nothing in this house that looks like Thanksgiving right. because I didn't make anything. Yeah. We went to the restaurant, ate, didn't bring a doggy bag home, nothing. Yeah, because it's hard to keep that weight off. Yeah, yeah. It's hard yeah. to keep that weight off. Um, I know that, um, and then and we're guys, we're gonna get to the topic, but Christy Teigen, um, who's wife? John Legend. John Legend's wife. I love her. She keeps it all the way real. Um, she said that it is so much easier. You guys know that she just had a baby, but she said that it is so much easier for celebrities to, you know, gain weight, have a baby, however you do it, and get the weight off because they have nutritionists, they have, you know, trainers who come to the house, chefs. they have personal chefs. So, and you've talked about because I know you you did a whole series of fitness videos, and I think you would talk about, mm -hmm. you know, we watch celebrities and, yeah. and the magazines but we don't realize they have a team they have a an army of people surrounding them who are dedicated to doing nothing but getting the weight off and if they need to keeping the weight off so as we move through this like eric said this eating season let's be kind to ourselves and not worry about um those few extra pounds per se you don't want to overdo it you don't want to put on too many pounds if any at all but just know you'll be able to get it off and don't compare yourself to anyone else Good with advice. that let's go ahead and get to this topic so the topic for today's tea time is what to get your spouse what do you get that spouse who has seemingly everything all right so eric and i have our list all right so i have my list here of things that um, you could possibly give to your husband. And mm -hmm. these are things that I've actually purchased for Eric in the past. I'm not going to tell him what he's getting this year. Why not? But no, it's going to be a secret. And so he has um, a list of the things for for, for the females. So okay? so I'll start. You want me to start? Sure, go ahead. So, so first on my list, and this may be an obvious one, but I think... So a lot of my stuff is... You know, I think... And when, in a sense, women are easier to shop for, but in a sense, women are harder to shop for. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, with women, y'all have shoes and purses and jewelry, but we with women... We always use more. Yeah, but yeah. With, with also, there's a lot of room for error. If you I'm like, wrong, do you guys like our hats? Yeah. Like Mine that? has the brim on it. I don't know why Eric had to do his I like that. Oh my on. gosh, you just yeah. want to do right. Go ahead. But with women, because there's so many different fashion choices, there's also, you can get your wife the thing she's not <laughs> into. So, I think gift cards are always a safe choice. And yeah. I think... I haven't met a woman yet that doesn't like Mac. All right, so these are the stores, guys. Mm -hmm. Sephora. Mm -hmm. Now, Ulta, that's that's like Sephora, right? I've seen Ulta. Yeah, Ulta. Um, U L T A. Yeah, U L T A. Um, and God, ladies, this is the perfect opportunity to run and go get your husband or boyfriend, um, fiance, and let them watch this with you. So we'll wait. We'll insert a commercial here. Take notes. All right, let's insert the commercial. All right. Commercial break. Um, yeah, Ulta is like, let's say if you have Target and Walmart, okay, I would say Target is Sephora okay. and Ulta is Walmart. Okay. All right, they're both, you know, nice stores, but you know, sometimes you prefer one over the other. 
All right. Okay. But let me ask you this. Do you think gift cards can be seen as being impersonal? No. No? No, I, I don't think so. Because I think, here's the thing, and ladies, some of you have probably experienced this, right? Mm -hmm. Your husband actually goes, so instead of getting you a gift card, mm -hmm. let's say to Macy's, uh -huh. he actually goes and buys you something from Macy's and it's not your taste. And you're like, I, I really don't like this, but I'm going to keep it or I got to return it, that but I don't want to hurt his feelings. So yeah. just, just cut it out. Just, yeah. just get the gift card. If you have a husband who is into sports, mm -hmm. okay, you can't go wrong with if depending on the season, well, the season, what season is this? this is so we're in the middle season? of basketball and football season. Tickets to the game. Yeah. Okay. That's a good if one. you're not into, you know, football or basketball or whatever the sport we're playing right now, <laughs> get him a ticket and get his friend a ticket. I'm mad you don't know what sports are well, in season right now. I don't now. know. Right. I don't know. It's Christmas season. Boom. NFL tickets, NFL mm -hmm. football, but they might be in the college football. So there's college right. football, right. there's NBA, but then there's NCAA, so you can get also, college basketball. Also, not sure if you guys, guys watch HSN. Now look, I don't sit and watch HSN all day, but I do use it to lull me off to sleep. And I have seen over into the night where they have um, big blankets oh, the with, with the sports, with the logos, with the on, logos the on, the, on them. They have the shirts and the hats and stuff. Yeah, so, there's a whole NFL shop. Yeah. There's an NBA shop. You can get the official gear. Mm -hmm. So that's a good yeah. idea. So continuing on my gift card theme, I talked about the uh, makeup places. Um, mm -hmm. As far as stores for gift cards, I find that Macy's is a good one. And here's why. Macy's is kind of that middle of the road department store. Yeah. So you have less expensive department stores like Kohl's and JCPenney's. Uh -huh. And then you got your higher end like Neiman Marcus and Saks. And Macy's is kind of... Bloomingdale's. Right, right down the middle. So I think Macy's is a pretty safe. Yeah. For all demographics, all uh, ranges. The other gift card, the other store you can do is Target. Mm -hmm. uh, just Target is just popular. Everybody loves Target. Yeah. What about uh, Walmart? Walmart, you know, I think there are people that like Walmart. Yeah. There are a lot of people that yeah. don't like Walmart. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, I, yeah. Walmart and Target yeah. is exclusively have their fans. Yeah. You know, there's something yeah. there for everybody. For me, Eric knows that I, I, I'm a Target girl. Yeah. You know. All right. So my next one, food gift cards. Mm. If you are married to a man, dating a man, chances are he likes to eat. We do like to. You know what I'm saying? Chicken, the quickest burgers, way to a guy's heart hot is dogs. Yeah, that is so, not a stereotype. That's no, true. absolutely not. So Eric is a huge fan of Zaxby's. I'm not sure if there's a Zaxby's in your area. It might just be a southern thing. I'm not it's sure. It's in the southeast mostly. Southeast. Yes. Okay. So one year, um, maybe for your birthday or I can't remember yeah, for which, um, I got him a Zaxby's gift card. Keeping it healthy, y'all. Fried chicken, <laughs> he, chicken strips. He loved it. All right, so you can do Zaxby's. Yeah. Um, a lot of you live up in Chicago, I know. What about some of the pizza places? You yeah. guys are, you know, you have that really good Chicago pizza. Chicago and, pizza, you know, pizza. The, those hot dogs up in Chicago. Get them a gift card. Yeah. Those could come in really handy because you know everybody's about to be off for the um, Christmas break, but he will have to go back to school, go back to work. Um, and so nobody's gonna want to be taking turkey and ham sam. Nobody's gonna want to see a piece of turkey or ham come January. As guys, we get tired of obviously ties, robes, mm, socks. underwear, socks. <laughs> you know, the, the clothing thing for guys as you get older, we're just not, we like clothes, some of us, but it's like, you know, guys, it's just, we're not, we don't have all the fashion choices. So yeah, think about his stomach, right? Instead of getting him some clothing. My next one that's easy for guys that's hard to mess up is perfume. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And chances are your wife will have mm -hmm. scents that she likes. Yeah. She might have a perfume line that she likes. And you can kind of vary it, right? If she likes one version of Chanel, get her mm -hmm. the other version, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, so get her perfume. The one that I am really loving right now that I get so many compliments on is Bamboo by Gucci. Okay. I showed it to you guys in a, in a previous video. I have about that much left. Hint, hint. Have about that much left. Do I need oh, write it down. Yeah. <laughs> I get so many compliments on that scent, and I I love it. I, you know, when I initially started wearing it, I didn't think that um, you know it's a great scent, but I didn't think it would go over so well, you know, with with other people. So. But you get a lot of compliments. I've been out with you. Mm -hmm. People compliment. Yeah, like we were standing yeah. in line somewhere, like outside, paying for parking, and this lady was like, "I don't know what you're wearing." But it smells amazing. I think she was talking to me though, but you you jumped in the conversation. Mm -hmm. too. The, the great thing about perfume, right, is 
you know, there's expensive perfume, but you can also get affordable perfume mm -hmm. that still smells really good. It doesn't have to be a hundred dollar bottle of perfume. Yeah, because some of the perfumes, some of my um, less expensive perfumes, I like to leave near the shower. So yeah. when I get out of the shower and I'm still wet, I like to make, uh, you know, mist it on, and then you know you can go to go to bed smelling really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tools and electronics. Here again, now there's a caveat. You must know your significant other. Don't go buying him tools if you know he needs help to hang a picture <laughs> on the wall. Um, but I think all of y'all like electronics. Though, electronics, right? I think, are pretty universal. Yeah. Yeah. Help me out here, Eric. Like, what are some of the electronic things that guys could? could um, televisions, video games, video game consoles. You could, uh, you'd be happy with a new TV? Oh yeah. We really? need one for the room now. Okay. Ooh, what about electronics gift card? What about a gift card to That's like good. Best, Best Buy? Buy. Yeah, because I, I know I wouldn't really know what to go in there and get. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, even if I were going to pick out a TV, I don't know if I would get the right one. I don't know if it, the clarity, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So my next one, and this is, now look, there's, what I've been talking to you guys about is kind of the minor league entry level stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to graduate to the next level a guy purchases. Yeah, because here's the thing. As the as your wife may already have a bunch of stuff, a bunch of middle of the road items, right. and maybe this Christmas it's you're trying to kick it up a notch. So if you are, I would say a purse. Now let me. There's a caveat right here. The reason I say a purse, I think a purse is safer than buying clothing and shoes because with the purse, it's one size fits all. You don't have to worry about. And we all carry purses. Right. And we you all. can kind of look at the purses mm -hmm. your wife or girlfriend or significant other, others carry. And just basically get something else from that line, right? So it's it's a little bit easier and safer than buying clothes, but you got to know what you're doing. But what if she already has all of all the let's say Coach purses? I don't. I haven't seen. They they know how to get y'all. They come out with. They coming out with some every Coach color. Or, but yeah, style. I would suggest though. You know, if your spouse is watching this, hi guys. Um, if your wife has all the cores, uh, Michael Kors purses, if she has all of the Coach purses, you know, you're, and you're like, well, dang, she has them all. All of the Gucci purses. <laughs> Go up the next level, get her a Gucci, get her a Louis Vuitton. I'm sure she deserves it. You know what I'm saying? She's been slaving in the kitchen, you know, helping the kids with the homework, uh, clean, keeping the house clean. Eric, what is that? No. She deserves that next tier bag. Get her that bag. You know, I okay? will say this. I do agree with that from the perspective of, I think a lot of times, guys, what we will do, I think it's fun to, sometimes you just want to get like a bunch of gifts, but sometimes it's better to splurge on one nice gift. Let's, exactly. Right. Great point, Eric. Right. Let's say you're getting her those, let's say, Macy's gift cards, right. those Mac Sephora gift cards, Victoria's Secret gift cards. By the time you get her all these gift cards or you know little sets and things you know how you go into the stores and it's already pre-packaged by the time you yeah. get her all that you could get her one nice Gucci purse or one nice you know Louis Vuitton wallet and she would be so thankful and grateful for that and I think some of it too is relative to like I'll, of course all of this is relative to your commitment to the relationship absolutely oh right we've been married forever and I'm so tired of going. I'm, I got tired of going into Victoria's Secret probably about ten yeah. years ago and getting pajamas yeah. and yeah, I, I remember just, that. After a I while, it's that. just like I, I can't yeah. go that, get another. One day. of those brown boxes. Yeah. <laughs> one, any one of them brown boxes, them two brown boxes, yeah. he knows is a winner for me. All right, uh, drones. That's the big thing now. Drones. Um, they sell them everywhere. Best Buy, uh, Brookstone. Yeah. Do you, would you want a, Would you want a drone? Yeah, the little drones with the camera and you can fly them. They have the remote control ones you control them with your phone. Those are fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's all drone. Yeah. My next one, and again, this is stepping. So this is stepping your game up to the next level. Mm -hmm. I think jewelry, yeah. right? And there, and there's different levels. There's costume jewelry. Like I don't like a lot of jewelry. Yeah. There's I, jewelry I, I there's wear costume. my my wedding rings and yeah. that's about it. I rarely even wear earrings. Yeah. So Eric knows I'm not really a jewelry fan. No, but no. I mean, you might be. Yeah. All right, is it my turn? Yeah. I'm almost done. All right. Watches. For guys, yeah. Oh my gosh, for guys. Uh, what guy does not love a nice watch? And then with the guys, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be an extremely expensive no. watch. I, the bands on the men's watches are just great. The, the big faces yeah. can be very inexpensive, but just really make a nice statement um, if it's designed really nicely. So, you know, 
a nice inexpensive watch or you can go as expensive as you would like. Eric, I know you have, I do a, have a really a watch nice collection. Uh, I do watch, have a watch collection. collection. A valued watch collection. I will yeah. say too, you know, as guys, we don't, you know, we don't we don't accessorize, we don't wear jewelry, most of yeah. us in earrings yeah. and all this other stuff. So I think that is the one thing that from a jewelry perspective mm -hmm. that most guys like is a nice watch. You can yeah. even do like the Apple watch if your guy's into technology mm -hmm. or the Fitbit or whatever if you're trying to you know, get them back in shape and get them back with the six pack. So, you know, again, that's all good. Season. I think um, you're on your last one. Or the last one, one is um, the spa, the spa gift certificates, right? We talked about oh, yeah. the certificates. Mm -hmm. You know, I think yeah, I ladies really appreciate right that. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to watch the kids. I'm going to hold the house down for the day. Yeah. Here's a gift card to the local spa in your community. Now, it's got to be a good one. You got to go on Yelp because there are a lot of yeah. bad spas out there. So, yeah. you got to find the good ones in your area. Because there's some bad ones. But get her a gift card. She can go. You'll watch the family mm -hmm. and give her a day. Yeah. Those always work well for me. All right. You done? That's my last one. Yeah. And, well, I'm on my last one. Here it is. All right. So, oh, many videos ago, we talked about making sure you have time for your intimate time with your spouse. As we mentioned a little earlier, you know, your wife or even your husband, we're always doing things, you know working, keeping the house clean, you know, your husband paying the bills, what, what whatever. Honey you know, do list. Your honey do list. Yeah. So why not make a bunch of cards, coupons if you will, uh, to give to your spouse, mm. okay? And those are coupons that he will be able to cash in, you know, for intimate time, okay? Now on those times, ladies, we can't be you know, Eric, what are some of the excuses? I so, don't know. I just did the dishes. So, uh, yeah, the, the danger in that is you're going <laughs> to give him the coupon book for fun times. Here you go. And he's going to maybe cash it in on a day where you've folded eight loads of clothes or the kids <laughs> have gotten on your nerves or you're tired from work or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you can't be like, well, I kind of gave it to you, but can I get a rain check? You can't be exchanging coupons for rain checks. <laughs> here's a, a rain check. Here's a rain check coupon. Right, right, coupon. Right. Hit right. me up next week. Right. Okay, I'll you be sure. You can't do an IOU yeah. on the coupon. No IOUs. Right. All right, so yeah, I, I, I like that idea. Okay, so give your husband the coupon book for intimate time together. And maybe, should we write the time on there, like 7 o'clock or, you know, 10.30 tonight or... Yeah, I think that might see help. See me 10.30 tonight. To avoid tonight. confusion, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, you don't be coming at me at 7 o'clock and you know I'm still downstairs putting away the dishes in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to kick it up that extra notch and be wife of the year, you know, if there's, I would say, lingerie involved in the... <laughs> Is there some role-playing lingerie extra accoutrement that you want Bye to put guys. into the mix? Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> mixtape is coming soon. It's going to be a Christmas mixtape. It's, it's coming soon, y'all. Bye, guys.